Good afternoon, and welcome to our living history of 100 years in Wise, Virginia. Our town has so much to offer. We think you are going to be amazed at the accomplishments and the influence each of these people had on Wise and all over the country as well. Let's start off with a song written by Dolly Parton called Red, White, and Bluegrass. The lyrics of the song talk about bluegrass music, America, and freedom. Finley Hall, Charlie Osborne, and Ivy Dingus will be accompanied by the fourth grade choral group.
that had very few ways of communicating. Yet, we know about his impact on the town of Wise. Please welcome to the microphone, Mr. M. W. Vickers. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is M.W. Vickers, and I am the first mayor of Oz. I took my responsibilities as mayor in 1924. You know, my town was always called Oz. For 50 years, our town was called various names, like the Big Glades, Gladesville, and Gladeville. It was renamed after the last governor of Virginia before the Civil War. His name was Henry Alexander Wise. This year, 2024, is the 100 year anniversary of Wise. But this town has actually been here for 150 years. This town, a beautiful town in the Appalachian Mountains, can offer many urban advantages and natural beauty as well. It has a beautiful hotel, a great library, a growing college, and a sports complex, just in a few. And these schools are among the top in the state. You know, I ain't the only famous person here. Through Wise's years, there were many people who have become famous. We have people who have made it to the NFL and NBA. We have people who have become famous actors and artists. We even have somebody who is Miss Virginia, USA. The town of Wise and the surrounding area are known for some great music, including some amazing bluegrass music. Part of what makes this town so successful is its location. The mountains are rich in coal reserves, natural gas, and sandstone. The area was perfect for growing large orchards of apples when I was mayor. The natural beauty of the streams and mountains bring lots of people to our town. I believe there are time will grow and people will continue to represent our wonderful town and all avenues of life. I'm really proud of my town. Our next speaker today, um, our next speaker will certainly bring back memories for many of you who are sports fans, and particularly Green Bay Packer fans. We are pleased to have Mr. Harold Dale with us today. Hello, my name is Carol Dale. If you love football, then we can be great fans. I played football for J.J. Kelly High School and went on to play in college for Virginia Tech. I was drafted by the NFL to the Los Angeles Rams and played for three different NFL teams. Five years with the Rams, eight years with the Green Bay Packers, and finally one year with the Minnesota Vikings. During that time, I was honored to play and win not just one, but two Super Bowl rings. In April of 1967, Wise County held a parade in my honor and had events similar to what we have here. I was very humbled and honored that Wise thought that much of me. I was born in a two-room log cabin, attended Wise Elementary School, just like some of these others. I have always enjoyed all sports. Today, you can find me on the golf course in my free time. <laughs> this area and its natural resources helped me make a living when I no longer played NFL football. I worked as a superintendent of underground and surface coal mines for 17 years. I served as an athletic director here at the beautiful UVA Wise for 11 years and enjoyed helping the college grow. What brings me the most joy in life? I am a Christian and I always try to live my life the way God wants me to live it. Thank you, thank you for being here today. Our town was also blessed with many caring and intelligent women who helped make this town a wonderful place to live. One of the three wise women, we are happy to hear from Mary Thompson. Hello everyone, I'm Mary Thompson and I know something you might find interesting about me. I was one of the three wise women. The other two women and myself helped in getting Clinch Valley College started. You may know it as UVA Wise. I taught fifth grade in my earlier years in and I especially enjoy teaching literature, stories, music, and poetry. I love that actors, musicians, and songwriters like to call me their best teacher. Later, I had to work hard to earn the students' respect because the person who taught before me was Louie Lee, and all his students thought he was great. I think asking others to tell their story and really listening is one of the things my students liked about me. 
I've been told that my smile and my laugh made it easy to talk to me. My family was so important to me. I'm a Christian and I wanted TV shows and movies to be the type of shows my family should watch. And I believe in praying for people when times got hard, as they always do. I really enjoyed my great-grandchildren when they spent time with me, doing crafts, having snacks, and learning from Bible lessons. My grandson Bill called me Bangy, which caught on, and all my grandchildren, cousins, and even great-grandchildren called me that. I really think it is important to make other people comfortable and make them feel like someone really values what they have to say. Being kind to others is one of the best things you can do for family, friends, and those around you. Thanks for spending time with us today. With a booming voice and a heart for teaching children about God, our next speaker left an impact on our town and all those small towns in Southwest Virginia. We are pleased to welcome Mr. John Henry to the stage today. How are you doing today? My name is John Henry. My colleagues and I were missionaries in Southwest Virginia. We held Sunday schools, taught at local schools, shared the gospel at the local fairs, and started vacation Bible schools. I was born in Berea, Kentucky, but moved to New Jersey when I was four. After graduating from the Philadelphia School of Bible, I moved back to the Cumberland Mountains with no money. In 1939, I got married to Mary Henry. We decided to start a project called the Bible Mission in Southwest Virginia and built summer camps for local kids. The first one was a logging camp in Pound. Three years later, the camp was flooded. I rescued all the children, but we had to move the camp to High Knob. Several years later, we moved the camp back to Wise, renaming it Camp Bethel, meaning House of God. Bells of Bethel, which, with music from local teens and Bible readings, was featured on the radio weekly. I continued my school ministry while also starting a jail ministry and a clothing ministry. In 1957, there was another flood, which I saved many kids' lives once again. As a result, I was named Wise County Man of the Year. In 1958, my dad and I finished construction on Calvary Baptist Church in Pound. There is only one other like it located in New Jersey. In 1960, locals and miners built Memory Lake on camp property in honor of my son. Over the years, I dealt with many ups and downs, but God was always faithful to provide. Some people just have lots of talent. This is surely so for our next singer, who not only sings beautifully, but is also a talented actress. We welcome Emma Eisenhower to sing The House That Built Me by Miranda Lambert. Daddy 
laughed in mama's dreams. If I could touch this place or feel it, this brokenness inside me might start healing. It's out here, it's like I'm someone else. I thought that maybe I could find myself. If I could just come in, I swear I'll leave. Well, Mr. Vickers, that you heard from earlier, was the mayor of this wonderful town. My mother died when I was eight, and my father raised me. In 1945, I joined the United States Marines and spent four years in that service. No doubt, that was an inspiration for the role I played in a movie as General George S. Patton years later. I also enrolled in classes at the University of Mississippi, but the acting bug bit me. One of my favorite sayings, it just clicked, a tumblers, in a safe. And I have roles in a lot of stage productions, movies, and television shows. Some of the ones that were nominated for Oscars were Richard Three, The Hustler, Anatomy of the Murder, Dr. Schlingsdorf, and Patton. I did not like the whole Oscar awards and a few several nominations. It seemed that it became nothing more than a mute market. When I got the nomination for the film patent, I stayed at home and watched talkie instead of accepting it. I understand that some people think I was one of the greatest and most generous actors they had ever known. I think that is a good way to be remembered. Thanks for coming today. Strong, independent women seem to be an important part of the growing town of Wise. Community-minded, all for education, and always finding ways to support the youth of our town, our next speaker is a woman to be applauded. Please welcome to the microphone, Margaret Horton. Hello and welcome. We are so glad you could make it. My name is Margaret Wharton, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about myself. I was born September 6, 1912, and attended Radford Women's College with a certification in education. I taught first through seventh grade, and in 1930, I married George C. Wharton. Together, we had five children and lived on Birchfield Road. In the 1940s, my husband and I ran the Esco, Cor Esco Inn and Esco Corner. Throughout my life, I was a part of the DAR. The DAR is the Daughters of the Revolution and Eastern Star. 
In 1953, I, I, I ran Wise County's first Cub Scouts and Girl Scouts. I ran the band boosters and helped JJ Kelly receive their first band uniforms. After my husband's death in 1975, I started serving on four college boards. UVA Wise, Emory and Henry, Tennessee Wesleyan, and Hiawassee. I was nicknamed the Heart Lady for my hard work with the Virginia Heart Association. I served on the I founded and served on the Black Diamond Bank Board. Of all the things I did, the one and the one the one that had such a lasting impact was my work with the Heart Association. I encourage you to get involved in your community and help others. Have a wonderful evening. The fourth grade choral group of Wise Primary School, along with duet singers Brooklyn Hawkins and Caden Sexton, Parker Graham and Elijah Sturgill, and Claire Bowling and Natalie Fields, will perform the song, Country Roads.
City to her hometown of Wye, Virginia. Our next speaker is known throughout the Commonwealth as well as throughout our country. Beauty queen or athlete, why not be both? Please welcome Lauren Barnett Sanger to the microphone in front of which she is so comfortable. Good evening everyone. My name is Lauren Barnett, a successful personality from right here in Wise. I was raised in the mountains of Southwest Virginia and I have been on the microphone since I was four. I was part of the state winning women's basketball team for Coach Dotson at JJ Kelly High School. We went 30 and 0. Fast forward to 2007 when I won the Miss Virginia USA pageant and placed sixth in the nationally televised Miss USA pageant. I later went on to host my first Miss Virginia pageant televised. I loved interacting with people. That led me to choosing communications as my major. I graduated from Virginia Tech in May 2008, securing my diploma and the unofficial title, Coach Beamer's Right Hand Gal. After college, I moved to LA to see what adventures would await me. One of my first gigs was with country star, Randy Hauser. Shortly after, I landed a spot as a model on the hit show, Deal or No Deal. I worked in LA for over a decade, modeling, hosting, and starring in too many commercials. It took up most of my time, but I loved it. I now live in New York City and fill my time with family, friends, and traveling. Like I always say, chase your dreams, but always know the road that will lead you home again. Did you notice the uniform of our next speaker? He is a championship winning coach and has put wide Virginia on the map when it comes to baseball. We are thrilled to hear from Max Shoup and his part in making J.J. Kelly baseball a household name. Hey everybody, my name is Max Shoup. A lot of you know me as coach. I am from here in Wise County, born and raised by my grandparents, George and Amanda Shoup. We were a coal mine family, as my grandfather worked in the mines for 51 years. I went to Glade Morgan Elementary and J.J. Kelly High School, neither of which exists today. I attended ETSU after high school to become a teacher and coach. Most of you probably know me through baseball. My grandfather was the person who sparked my interest in baseball as a young kid. We stayed up late listening to the New York Yankees games on the radio at the house. And to this day, I still love watching and listening to games. After college, I began teaching my, my teaching career at Kelly in 1967. I love teaching and sharing history and government with those students. Over the 32 years I was there, my students were always wonderful. When I put a hat on for the coach as the Kelly baseball team, we didn't have any uniforms or field to play on. With the help of parents, my first booster club and support of Tom and Leo Rowe, Rabbits put together a great baseball program. Over the 32 years of coaching, we set records at the school that have yet to be broken. We won 631 games, four state championships in a row, and played for state in four, four state titles in four different decades. We won a combined eight state, 18 regional, and 22 LPD titles, as well as two state runner-up titles. Those were the good old days, they say. Today I'm married to my lovely wife and love of my life, Elizabeth Dawson Shoot. And I have one sister, I mean one daughter, Amanda, who I am very proud of. I had one sibling, Janice, who passed away just last year. I have been blessed in this life with many amazing players, coaches, and golf buddies. And one of my favorite honors is a beautiful shoot field here in Wise and the Virginia High School Hall of Fame induction in 1998 and the Virginia Baseball Coaches Hall of Fame in 2023. Thank you for all of your time today. For those of you who love art, our next speaker will leave you saying, wow. She was a talented, award-winning artist and also a forward thinker. Please welcome to the microphone, Lois Tracy. Hello, I'm so glad to see so many of you here today. I am Lois Tracy and I'm an artist. What you 
may find interesting about me is that my artists in museums all across America, two of the most famous museums are the New York Metropolitan Museum and the Smithsonian Institutions and the Space Museum. I first came to Wise with my husband. He became the innkeeper of the Colonial Hotel. My husband built me an art studio on the top floor of the Wise Inn where I could continue painting. I was the first art teacher at UVA Wise known then as the Clinch Valley College. I was a part of the group that worked to get a branch of the University of Virginia and Wise. I also authored two books called Painting Principles and Practices and Adventure in Art. My life was long, 106 years, filled with adventures and beauty. Thanks for listening to an artist from Wise, Virginia. <laughs> Education in Wise County, and particularly Wise, would not have been what it is without this next speaker. His time in the school system and his work with other groups that support children helped make this a stellar place to grow and learn. We are happy to have Luther F. Addington with us today. Hello, I am Luther Foster Addington. You may know my name because the local middle schools in Wise is named for me. I was also a principal in Wise of the high school in Wise known as J.J. Kelly High School. I was also an educator for 42 years. Some of my accomplishments that I'm most proud of is are being a principal for 34 years, being named the Citizen of the Year in 1956, and publishing a history of Wise County, Virginia. I also published several kids' books. I was the founder of the Historical Society of Southwest Virginia and served as its president for 15 years. I felt that it was important to research, assemble, and preserve the history of Wise County. Even though I lived during the horse and buggy days, motorized transportation was scarce. I worked with others in helping young people in Wise County get a good education. Let's welcome back Emma Eisenhower to sing a song by Carrie Underwood called Thank God for Hometowns. Mama said, yeah, you know him, you went to school with both his kids. <laughs> 
cooking and use that gift to feed the community. I was born on August 5th, 1922 in Coburn, Virginia. I have a brother Bill, a sister Betty, and a dog named Spot. When I was little, I lived on a farm with cows, pigs, and chickens. This is how we lived through the Great Depression. I graduated from high school in 1940 around the, around the beginning of World War II. Though money was hard to come by, that didn't stop life from being eventful. I breezed through college even after changing my major to be a teacher and graduated in 1945. I had three children, John, Sarah, and Jeannie. I accepted a teaching job three years later. I taught for a total of 30 years and retired in 1988. I am a strong, soft-spoken, and independent woman who was always active in the community and can be found on the headlines of many local newspapers. One of my greatest claims to fame was my delicious butterscotch pie. Thank you for letting me talk about my life in this wonderful town. If you came to watch the J.J. Kelly Indians play football several days ago, you would have heard this next person announce those games. People to this day remember how he began each and every football game. Please welcome Mr. Belden Dotson. Good afternoon, football fans, and welcome. My name is Veldon Dotson, and I am the voice of the Indians. The railroads were very important to the town of Wise and the surrounding towns. Removing coal from the mountains helped these small towns to grow. I worked for the N and W Railroad for 38 years as a yard conductor and part-time train master. I was president of the Wise Kiwanis Club. It was created to help the local children, and I was a councilman for the town of Wise too. As a member of the town council, I was instrumental in getting what is now the wise form of sports complex off the ground and constructed. In 1997, the park was dedicated in my name. My brother Bill and I also helped fought, found Wise Little League, an accomplishment to say the least. It is obvious that I love sports and worked hard to help children and Wise be able to play sports themselves. Thanks for your time this afternoon. Maybe it will encourage you to get involved with your community. can be seen all around the town of Wise and enjoys traveling in our beautiful country. From the baseball fields to the town hall, this next speaker promotes our town. Welcome our next speaker, Kaner Smith Jr. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kaner Smith, former mayor of the town of Wise. I'm the drummer in the Boston Playboys band and I love riding my Harley to Sturgis, South Dakota. In my free time, I umpire baseball games. 
I was born in West Virginia and went to pharmacy school in Birmingham, Alabama. I'm currently a pharmacist and get to travel to different places for my job. I have an interesting story to share of how I ended up in Birmingham, Alabama for pharmacy school. I was, I was attending college at Clinch Valley College, now UVA Wise, and had planned on going to pharmacy school in Richmond. Papa Joe Smitty was a chancellor at that time and convinced me that I, that I needed to go to Sanford. He had family there and said it would be the place for me. It became the college where I got to my degree and where I met my wife and made great friends. Clinch Valley was a great place for me and I used my drumming talents to start the first pet band that played at the basketball games at Greer Gym. The tuba player for that band was Fred Bevins, who works with the Wise County Historical Society, which you have already heard about. Pet band became so popular that Chancellor Smitty gave me a $500 scholarship for my leadership. Papa Joe Smitty changed my life and it wouldn't have been the same without him. I promoted the building of the Wise Municipal Pool, the, air, the baseball fields near the airport, the town hall, and the big plates. I've said, I, I've said many times over the years, I don't care really where you live, I just want you to eat in the town of class. If you want to know what that means, just ask me. I will be happy to share. Wise has been good to me and I love my hometown. In the heart of Appalachia, where the mountains meet the sun, lived a man that shared music through the hills of Southwest Virginia. Our final speaker is known far and wide and has musical talent that has graced lots of events during his lifetime. He has worn so many hats in our town. Please welcome Papa Joe Smitty. <laughs> Music is in my blood and these mountains are my home. I've spent my life sharing the stories and songs that make this place special. My work at Clinch Valley College was always a blessing to me and the community. I am best known for being first chancellor of CBC. I guided the institution from a two-year program to a four-year college. What you might not know is I was hired to be the first biology professor, not an administrator. I have always been able to use music as a way to connect with people, whether it be students or government leaders. My band, Reedy Creek, played the wedding reception of Elizabeth Taylor and Senator John Warner. I have a music festival held in my honor every year on Labor Day weekend at Natural Tunnel State Park. Please join me to sing the chorus of my favorite song, Butter Beans. Just a bowl of butter beans. Pass the cornbread if you please. I don't want no collard greens, just a bowl of them good old butter beans. I would like to thank the town wise for honoring my great grandfather, Papa Joe Smitty. <laughs> to complete our program, the fourth grade choral group along with soloist Mason Adams will sing Celebration. Yeah. 
table we still have t-shirts ornaments hats all kinds of things make sure you get uh, the brochure to see all the events that are going to be taking place this week I'm going to ask Sue Kennedy who spearheaded this particular piece of it to come up and Mr. Preston thank you so much for being the MC. you were absolutely wonderful <laughs> As well as the rest of the students and our seniors and Sue, if you will just take a moment to say something about these wonderful students and our families. If you all could just stay for one moment and, and we'll get the students to come up and have a group picture. I know that there are some of the uh, celebrities here with us and you'll probably want to meet um, the people that portrayed you. Thank you. They tell me that anytime you want a great kickoff, you put a bunch of children into it and that's what you've got. So, so having said that, I want to thank, first of all, these students for spending their after school time, numerous days, to practice. And they've researched, these folks over here have researched, and they learned a lot, as did I and we found out even more what a wonderful town we have here. And these students who are singing back here, they have put that same amount of time in. And I'm so proud of all of them. Um, I'm not sure if, if you would stand up here and do it. <laughs> yeah, maybe I would do this part, but definitely not the singing part. So I, I applaud them one more time for all the time they put in here. Secondly, I have heard also that if you have students who excel, then you have support. They have support from so many different people, and I'm so thankful to see all of you who came out to support these children today. And um, so we, we are excited for the week ahead of us, and we are thankful for beautiful weather and a great um, program today. Um, just hang out just for a second. We're going to try to get some group pictures and some pictures with our speakers over here. So just hang out just for a second, please, before we start the next part of our afternoon. <laughs> 